Good morning, class 11. I am Thayal Sir on the behalf of Pumatango Higher Secondary School. Today we will discuss the equivalent mass and how to calculate the equivalent mass of the acid, base, salt, and oxidizing and reducing agent and various type of ions. Uh, now, today I start how to calculate the equivalent mass of an acid. First, we calculate the how to calculate the equivalent mass of an acid. Before going to calculate the equivalent mass of an acid, we must uh, know what is acid. In the class 10, you already know that what is acid. Today, I also told you what is acid in the class. First one is acid. You know, class 10, that what is acid. Also, today I will discuss what is acid. What is acid? Acid is a substance which have a tendency to donate or which gives a H plus ion in aqua solution. And I mean acid is a substance which gives H plus ion in aqua solution. Aqua solution means water medium. So, what is acid? Acid is a substance or the substance which gives the substance the substance which gives S plus ion in aqua solution is called an acid so what is acid? The substance which gives S plus ion in aqua solution is called an acid. So aqua solution means water medium. Water medium. So the substance which gives S plus ion in aqua solution is called an acid. In the letter we will discuss the acid. The definition of acid given when different scientists that are there are three types of acid. First one is aluminous concept of acid and base, another one is Bronsted Lowry concept of acid and base, and then Lewis concept of acid and base. It is the definition on the basis of aluminous concept of acid and base. So, according to aluminous, what is acid? Acid is a substance which gives H plus ion in aqueous solution. So, for example, what I just said, HCl hydrochloric acid, H2SO4 sulfuric acid, HLO3 nitric acid, C3COF acetic acid, etc. are the acid. Hydro HCl hydrochloric acid that is hydrogen sulfate also known as sulfuric acid is the king of all acid then nitric acid, acetic acid and one is oxalic acid which is called oxalic acid oxalic acid it is known as acetic acid it is known as nitric acid We know that sulfuric acid. We know that hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric. Acid. I repeat again that what are the definition of acid? So the substance which gives H plus ion in aqua solution is called an acid. So for example, HCl. H2SO4, HCO3, C3COH, and that is generally oxalic acid. It is also written as C2O4H2. It is known as oxalic acid. So, before, the cal uh, before calculating the equivalent mass of an acid, we know what is acid. Then, the another term commerages that. Acid is basicity. Right 
Due to 
more electronegativity of oxygen atom. It attracts the shear field of electron toward itself. Thus, H plus ion is easily removed. Thus, when acetic acid dissociates, it gives an H plus ion. It gives a H plus ion. Not four number of H plus ion. But here, the, the number of three hydrogen atoms are not dissociated because here the carbon attached with a hydrogen with four and bond. Thus, hydrogen are hydrogen which are attached to the carbon atom are not removed as a ion. Thus, the acidic uh, the equivalent mass of acetic acid sorry the number of basicity of acetic acid is one because you have the number of replaceable or removable H plus ion is one. Then we proceed to the next one is nitric acid. Nitric acid when it dissociates it forms number of removable or replaceable H plus ion is 1. Thus its basis is also 1, regularly organic acid. H plus plus CO minus CO minus. And the number of replaceable H plus ion is 2. Thus its basis is I can explain how the all acid and their basic D, how can you calculate it? And then we proceed to the next part e, how to calculate the equivalent mass of an acid. It is very simple that how to know the what are the formula behind it to calculation of equivalent mass? Thus, equivalent mass, equivalent mass of an acid. Thus, equivalent mass of an acid equal to molecular mass of that acid. It is molecular mass of that acid by base acid. Thus, equivalent mass of an acid is from line or how to calculate the equivalent mass of acid. Thus, equivalent mass of an acid equal to molecular mass of that acid divided by its base acid. It is a formula. Here I am taking an example and rest acid which I given you must calculate the equivalent mass. Then first one for example, calculation of equivalent mass of the HCL. Question earlier, calculation of or calculate, calculate the equivalent, calculate the equivalent mass of mass of following acid that is HCl H2SO4 HNO3 and acetic acid C, PCO, F and other only of the alkyls I have taken an example of calculation of equivalent mass of HCl. First one is equivalent mass of HCl. Thus, first calculate the molecular mass of that acid, that is HCl. Answer first. 
Calculate the sum of molecular mass of HCl. HCl is plus here 1 plus 35.5 to 36.5. And with basicity H plus plus Cl minus basicity 1. So putting the value of or this value in the formula of calculation of equivalent mass of energy. Thus, equivalent mass of equivalent EQ, sort of like right here, equivalent to the equivalent. Equivalent mass of equivalent mass of HCl equal to molecular mass of HCl, molecular mass of HCl divided by its basicity. Molecular mass of HCl divided by its basicity. Thus, molecular mass of HCl has 36.5. 36.5 and its basicity is 1. Thus, 36.5. Yeah. It's all. So, when we calculate the equivalent mass of HCl, equivalent mass of an HCl, or different type of HCl, first we remember what are the formula behind it. Again, I say that equivalent mass of, a, of an acid or equivalent mass for calculation of an acid, the formula is equivalent mass of an acid equal to molecular mass of the dead acid divided by basicity. Then, for homework, the same question and same type, you do your own. After which, calculate the equivalent mass of the following acid of HCl, H2SO4, HNO3. Acetic acid and oxalic acid. I hope you understand the basic concept of the how to calculate the equivalent mass of an acid, and it is helpful for the further study. Uh, the next class we will discuss how to calculate the equivalent mass of a base. Thank you.